Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. A couple of weeks ago, my friend Charlie sent me this email about this Bangle JS smartwatch. You might remember Charlie, he's the guy that turned me on to dabble in PictoBlocks, and I made this video as a result. So let's check out this Bangle JS watch. Here's the website, banglejs.com. Here's some of the features. It's open source, it's got GPS, compass, accelerometer. Here's the Espruino site where you can buy it from. Notice that they have a 15% discount for December and they have DHL shipping. I got mine within a matter of just a few days. So here's some of the features, more detailed specifications. This power consumption notion here at the bottom is really interesting. They make it sound like it's on standby for a long time. That's a long battery life in standby. We'll see how that goes. Here's the getting started guide. Charge it up with the plug from the right. And then you've got three buttons. One, two, three. We're going to be checking it out here in just a minute. Here. There's over 170 apps that you can install, and if you have Google Chrome, you can, should be able to connect through your browser via Bluetooth to upload these apps to your Bangle.js watch. So I don't know if we'll get that far in the course of this video. I'm going to do the unbox and show you how it works out of the box, but it'll be interesting to come back and install some of these cool apps. Okay, let's go. Okay, you can see this is a really handsome box. Very nice. Now when I open it, a card and these stickers pop out. Let's take a look at what this is. Yeah, you get a couple of bangle stickers if that's your thing. Here's a card with lots of information about your new Bangle JS watch. And on the back, it tells you how to get started. Again, charging from the right. And you use button one to turn it on. This is a very handsome band. With all these holes in it, I think it would be flimsy, but it's really very sturdy. Excellent quality. Very pleased with this. You can see this is an amazing presentation. So I'm going to open the buckle here and let's look at the back. And on the back, you have that charging port again. You want to approach that charging port from the right of the watch. And you also have the heart rate sensor there. And then there's four screws. If you were so inclined, you could open this watch up and uh, <laughs> play with the stuff inside. That's not going to be my thing. I can promise you that. So there, I'm holding down the button. We'll get it started here. Okay, here it is starting up. It's going to flash through some of these logos. And then it's going to go through some introductory information. Three buttons. Button one is to turn your bangle on and off or move up in the menus. Button two is to select a menu item or launch an app when it's showing. And then button three is to move down in the menus and go back to the clock if you do a long press. Here's a way to reboot. Press one and two for six seconds. We have a touch screen. It'll also detect swipes. It has very few apps installed, and if you want to add more or create your own, check out banglejs.com. That's it. Let's get started. So it's a very simple time display. We got the battery, Bluetooth indicator, date, and then there really is just the clock face, settings, about, and alarms. So this is the out-of-box experience. It's a watch, and you can tell time and set alarms. So we're definitely going to come back with another video and load some apps, especially since this has GPS and accelerometer and heart rate in here. I want to add a step counter. So stay tuned, and thank you very much. So... Make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe. Check out some of these other videos. And thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.